Uh, next one, where's Sarah? Got one over here? I'm just curious, um, how, many, how many of the bookings, what percentage of the bookings are uh, returning sea monkeys versus n new bookings? And is that a dynamic that's changed over the years? This year was exceptional. Um, first, I'll start with a statistic that is 70% of people who come on Joko Cruise, the first time they come on Joko Cruise, it's their first cruise at all. And then with 70%, and this is over the past six years, um, we have 70% of the people on the current sailing sign for the next one. And then this sailing, uh, we had roughly 1,100 people last year. This year, it is 1,700. And it is a little more than half the people on this sailing um, are new to both Joko Cruise and general sailing. And it's kind of blowing our minds because it feels like, like at least I felt like one group from the start. And uh, I, I think we can thank all y'all for being so, being so welcoming to the folks who hadn't cruised before. Nerdkind knows Nerdkind. <laughs> and we did make a lot of, yes. And we did make a lot of conscious decisions so that it would feel natural and that it wouldn't be something where um, people felt oppositional. Like, obviously, we had to do the, the two. Yeah, the red team and gold team, yeah. Uh, but we did make the decision not to have the option of, OK, if you were an existing cruiser, you know, you can just select to be in the one group because then you would have had one group that would have, uh, may not have integrated with the rest and just a lot of little things. Yeah, and this year really was, I mean, as for not, it's not a, a uh, followed our model because it kind of couldn't, we knew that we had to bridge this crazy gap between what we could fit on Royal Caribbean um, as a group and what we can do here. Um, and it, the response was amazing. It, it's been awesome from our perspective and I mean so much has, has changed this year and we appreciate your patience as we've learned how to do this. I mean along, along with being your host this week and we work on this all year and it, this has been a major growing experience for everyone. And, and like big zombies we planned a rock festival in the middle of our cruise. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. And while we're speaking on that, Drew is kind of, kind of the silent partner. We're trying to get him out front some more now, but he really lifted the load uh, for for this cruise in general. He's the guy who's actually developing the processes with extra staffing we had this year, putting it together, and with the festival in particular. And he has lieutenants as well to help him. But um, I'd like to now publicly thank Drew for that. And we'll do it again. Next question. 